Um, what would you say were the biggest challenges during that time period? Yeah, um, I personally didn't love didn't love fundraising, and that sometimes was easier than others. But I think in, with a nonprofit, um, fundraising is necessary part of it. Um, I won't say necessary evil because I don't necessarily think it's evil, but it was a you know necessary um, function that I just um, th that I just didn't love um, to do, um, and then with that just to be frank um i try to stop saying um but maintaining the integrity of your mission uh -huh. uh, when you kind of know or get a hunch that there's money that could come from here or here, or here if you just tweak your mission a little bit or if you just uh if you just left this part of your mission out in this presentation for these people or in this uh, grant application for these people. It's, um, yeah, I think that just became even more challenging the longer I ran the nonprofit in, in Dallas specifically, just kind of noticing the way the winds blow at certain times and um, just kind of, like I said, knowing or having a good idea that doing things a certain way or saying things a certain way would bring more money in the door, which was necessary to get the money. But, you know, maintaining, I, I think um, there's, a, there's actually a term for it in the nonprofit world, but mission drift, I suppose, which can happen for many reasons. Mm -hmm. but the, yeah, I would say just the integrity of what the mission, ha the, the organization has decided the mission is. I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with changing a mission as you grow but obviously changing things just for the sake of making money in in my experience and what i was trying to do was something that i uh, just had to learn to fight against 